Welcome to the Electronics and Programming Beginner's Guide. I want to change face a little bit, and I had mentioned it in some of my previous videos that I've upgraded a whole bunch of my gear. And I wanted to go ahead and walk you through uh, what I have now and what I have in the past. And I don't know if you can tell or not, but what I am recording with right now is my old gear so that I can actually show you my new camera and whatnot. So let's take a look. So this is the new camera I got. Uh, this is leaps and bounds better than what I was recording with before. This is a Sony uh, Handycam HDR CX360. I think it's a V, but I'm not. A, I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, I chose this camera. Well, first of all, this camera I bought it used uh, off of Amazon. I think it sent me back about 380 bucks. Uh, this camera is uh, a few models older, but oddly enough, this camera had all of the features I was looking for without having to go into like the a prosumer camera, which would have been you know upwards of a thousand dollars. So let's uh, go over some of the features that I really like. First of all, this camera supports a hot shoe. Like that um, I've never actually cared for the fact that it's a hot shoe, it could be a cold shoe, whatever, but it makes a mount for adding other things because uh, I got a shotgun microphone for this, which uh, this makes it really easy to mount to the camera. So this was definitely a feature I was looking for. Uh, the next feature is that this camera features a 12 times optical zoom. Uh, that might be a little hard to see with the glare but it's a 12x optical zoom and the the equipment that I'm using right now doesn't support any kind of optical zoom at all the the one I'm shooting with right now so this is going to be so much nicer for like a macro view to be able to show up close things uh, the camera supports a 5.1 surround uh, microphone that sits right here but that's again not not super relevant because I am using the shotgun microphone. So some of the um, oh this is this one's important uh, optical steady shot. I specifically wanted that feature because with this with this guy it's really easy to bump it around, but with this camera it actually stabilizes the uh, video for me. So now if I go ahead and open it up, it'll say handy cam and go ahead and light up. So the two other features that I was, and I'll talk about this in a second. Oh, there we go. The two other features I was looking for were that uh, if you look under the store, this red uh, 3.5 millimeter jack is uh, for a microphone, that this actually is supplies power and it actually is uh, labeled right here uh, that it supplies power and uh, it has a headphone jack so you can listen to with a set of headphones what you're actually recording which this is a fantastic feature if you're shooting something other than just yourself so uh, what this error was all about that one you just saw pop up and you might be able to kind of see it right here in the corner there's an error message flashing uh, when I bought the camera, it was listed as, you know, fully functioning, everything good. But when I got it, I kept getting this error. I did some research and it turns out that that error is for the flash not working in photo mode. So I don't know if you can see right here, there is a camera, there's a little piece of film, which is a video recording and a little camera, which is photo taking. So the flash doesn't work for photo taking. Um, in reality, this camera only takes, I think, 3.1 megapixel still shots, so this is actually fairly worthless for taking photos. So the fact that the flash doesn't work, which is really common for these cameras to fail, is entirely irrelevant. So uh, the screen interface here, and oh, I actually uh, talked with the uh, reseller and I got $40 off, so in the end the camera only cost me 340 bucks. So the interface to this camera is a touch screen. 
it's not the most phenomenal touch screen on the face of this planet. You actually kind of have to hold the screen and kind of pinch it to see if I just kind of lightly touch the screen. It doesn't respond, but it's not an issue. I mean, it's, it's just something you have to live with. Eventually, I will pick up a remote control for this camera sometime in, you know, in the future, etc. Uh, the other thing is this camera came with, if I remember correctly, 32 gigabytes of built-in internal memory. But this thing also has an SD card slot. So you can expand that with, uh, was it the do, 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 uh, SD XC? There we go. So I believe this camera supports up to 512 gig SD cards. So hopefully I never have to use that uh, camera again. This is now shooting with the uh, newer camera. And I think it's a pretty decent uh, difference in video quality. And we'll talk about that later. But uh, This is my next upgrade. This is a Rode microphone and this is a lapel microphone I'm pull it out so the idea is whenever I'm narrating a video kind of behind the camera kind of what you're seeing now and right now the audio is being recorded with the uh, microphone that's built directly into the camera but this is this little microphone clips onto your shirt and this is a really high quality omnidirectional microphone that I did a bunch of research and everybody, you know, all the reviews said that this was either the best one you can get or this was like second or third, depending uh, on which reviews uh, you read. So I found one caveat with this microphone. Oh, and uh, the, this is one of the biggest reasons why I wanted that external microphone input into the camera so I can use microphones like this. So this microphone had a caveat. The caveat is that if you look at this connector, this connector is actually meant for cell phones. It has the uh, four different bands and th there's a set of letters for this that I just don't remember off the top of my head that describes this. This is a 3.5 millimeter jack, but the microphone is actually uh, these, these bands back here. I'm sorry, I guess I'm sorry. It's this band right here, the, the second one up from the bottom. Whereas when you would actually plug into the camera, the uh, microphone goes in a different location. So after I got the microphone, I plugged it into the camera and boom, I couldn't, I didn't hear anything. So I looked around and it turns out that you need an adapter. This is also made by Rode. And this adapter converts this jack to a 3.5 millimeter jack and I don't, know if, uh, I don't know how easy it is to see the difference but uh, the microphone connections are over here instead of down here using this connector. Now I've switched over to the lapel microphone and hopefully you can tell a difference in audio quality and I'm really big into audio quality, so another thing that I picked up is this is a shotgun microphone. This is also made by Rode, same as the lapel microphone, and this is the uh, Rode Mic Go. Uh, the idea behind this microphone is it's designed for cameras or DSLRs, and it's not powered, there's no batteries in it, and this is why the powered microphone input on the camera is important. And this thing uses a cold shoe mount to attach to the camera. And the idea behind this microphone is it's very, very directional. If you kind of point it this way, it, it picks up the audio coming this way and it kind of cancels the things that are on the sides. The only kind of caveat behind this type of microphone is it also picks up audio that's kind of right here in the back. So if you're holding the camera and you decide to speak with this microphone, it's actually quite loud. Uh, that uh, hot shoe mount that the camera has, I showed you earlier, uh, will not accept this kind of uh, cold shoe connection directly. So I had to find an adapter. This is the adapter. And it actually took me a couple of tries to find one because the cold shoe on the camera is a mini, uh, so the hot shoe on the camera is a mini hot shoe. So, so it 
I had uh, I bought another adapter first and turned out to be too big so then I returned that one and got this one and the f I like actually this adapter better than that other one because a feature I found that this adapter has that really wasn't listed if you unscrew it like that you can actually this uh, these are the kinds of threads that are in tripods so you could actually put a put this onto a tripod and also th this is spring loaded and kind of all trapped together so you don't lose if you disassemble it you know all the pieces don't just fly apart like that uh, Something I've also something I also purchased specifically for this microphone is something called the Dead Cat. This is what it looks like. It's just a fuzzy microphone cover. The idea behind the Dead Cat is this allows you to more easily shoot video in windy conditions or outside because this fur kind of scatters the wind to avoid the sound. So the way this works is this foam cover pulls off. And then this cover just kind of slides on over top, top and you have a big fuzzy microphone. This is what I had been shooting with in the past. This is a webcam and I got it because it was cheap, but I didn't cheap out completely. This is the top of the line webcam that Logitech makes. This is a C920. Uh, this shoots in 1080 uh, P 30 frames a second but it's a, it lacks an optical zoom. It does have microphones built in, but they're not that fantastic. So the camera that I'm shooting with right now uh, shoots at 1080p at 60 frames a second. It's a much better image sensor, optical zoom, etc. And oh, uh, another fe reason why I chose specifically this webcam is it has a tripod mount on it, which makes it a lot easier to uh, handle it without trying to balance it on something or whatnot. So, so let me show you the optical zoom. To, uh, it does have some limitations because uh, the the camera can't focus super duper close, but this is I'd say that's pretty that's a pretty decent zoom. I think I'm about halfway zoomed in as compare you know uh, uh, to what it can actually do. But I'm at the limit of the focus of the camera, and that I'll have to play with it a little more to see if I can uh, get that a little better. But that's you know that's really good compared to what I was dealing with this because then I would have to shoot a video, you know, from from this far away to get that kind of zoom because now I have, you know, a, a pretty decent amount of uh, space to work with. So if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to either email me or comment uh, down below. Uh, the, the, from now on, I will be using the upgraded equipment that I've showed you. So I'm hoping that uh, my video quality is, you know, noticeably better, and uh, the the zoom to be able to show you things on kind of a puppet stage is going to help a lot. You know, a lot. Thank you for watching.